Looking forward to that. Thank you, Damon. Happening now, the largest health care strike in American history as Kaiser Permanente and the coalition of unions work to negotiate a new contract. Alex Juarez spoke to those on the picket line this morning. Kaiser optometrists and pharmacists are striking right outside of their place of work and they're chanting what they want to fix unsafe staffing levels and they also say they need a pay increase. One, two, three, four. We won't take it anymore. It's not happening today. It's been happening. Negotiations underway for weeks as a national health care worker contract reached the end of its term. The nonprofit health care organization and coalition of unions have not been able to reach an agreement. We have been trying to get the Kaiser executives to bargain in good faith with us. What they want to fix unsafe staffing levels and increase pay to a competitive rate. In a statement, Kaiser Permanente said negotiations went through the night Tuesday and are ongoing. In part, they said, quote, there's been a lot of progress with agreements reached on several specific proposals late Tuesday. It's frustrating. Uh, I, I've been in, in this uh, job for long enough to understand it uh, and understand the needs for, uh, for better staffing. We got the power! They want to take care of patients. And the patients seem to understand, showing support as they drive by. One day might seem like an inconvenience. It's more of an inconvenience to have to wait three months because we don't have the proper staffing. Three months, the current average wait to get an appointment. And while you'll see the groups out here picketing in Springfield today, over the rest of the week, they will be at different locations of the Kaiser across the region where they'll be handing out flyers to patients explaining exactly what they're doing, why this strike is happening and why it's important, not just for the workers, but also for the patients. In Springfield, I'm Lex Juarez, DC News Now.